Um, so the next topic I actually wanted to bring up because it's really important is Stipe versus Francis that's coming this Saturday. Mm. Did you watch Countdown, by the way? I did. That, that shit's crispy. <laughs> it is good. I thought it was... I thought it was funny how they did that. Uh, we'll talk about it later about the Volkanovski thing. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. posted it, and then within five hours the fight was cancelled. Yeah, like, oh my yeah, because all that effort that goes into those, like I reckon, mm. a lot of effort goes into those. I reckon they very have high quality. Yeah, yeah, very high quality content. It's my, it's actually one of my favorite pieces of content that comes out. Uh, of I UFC. love watching the UFC countdowns, especially. Um, I mean, the last one was pretty good as well. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Stipe versus Francis. You know, yeah. one thing about Stipe is. In almost every championship fight that he's been in... The he, underdog. He's the underdog. <laughs> and, and he I'm keeps like, winning. Fuck. <laughs> he was the underdog against Francis in the first fight. I now know. he's the underdog again in the second I fight. I know. Like, like the disrespect. Do you know what I find funny is that, like, with Francis, everyone keeps on saying, you know, after Francis lost and then he lost to Derek Lewis, he really changed, you know. he's And I understand, like... He's 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 learnt some new skills, right? But they're mm-hmm. making it out like he's a whole brand new fighter. He's evolved in the evolution of Francis Ngannou. I get it, right? Hasn't really shown it in his last few fights. He's mainly just been knocking them the fuck out. Yeah, he really just quickly. <laughs> Hasn't really showed that he's got uh, the same gas tank. Yeah, that he needs to fight Stipe because in that last fight he was exhausted. Yeah, he's, he's exhausted. gonna be like. Okay, I had this conversation with someone in the gym and they were saying, oh, yeah, Francis is going to knock the fuck out of Stipe. See a highlight real knockout. I said, other than his power, what, what what do you think he has? And he just goes, he's got good feet work, not footwork. And I was like, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, it doesn't. He's, and it, then, it's not normal for a heavyweight to have really good footwork for majority yeah. of the fight anyway because they gas. Yeah. It, it's a huge... Uh, to move around the 265 who cuts down to 265, for you to have really good footwork, yeah, you might have it in the first round. Yeah, but not even that. But like, if, if Francis hasn't worked on his wrestling, Stipe is just going to go, all right, mate, let's go to the ground and just take him down with the, that high level yeah. pedigree. Yeah. Because people forget how fucking much strong steve has got power too man everyone. he is and i think everyone under, underestimates how strong he is his yeah. strength and conditioning is underrated yeah and he, we, he has power we talked about that in like the early days of this podcast so yeah just why steve is so strong and mm-hmm. and and all the different uh exercises and he, uh, every time i see him in the countdown he's always u- using the reverse hyper yeah it's really interesting and um he's definitely he's definitely he's a powerful dude and, yeah. the, and the last time he fought um, Daniel Cormier, that was his, probably his lightest we've ever seen him. Cut down, yeah. trimmer frame, a little bit leaner, but he just kept up. His output was so good against Daniel Cormier. Now, he didn't knock, he didn't knock him out for the second time, but that output was so good. The good thing with Francis is once he started to notice that he needed to move his camp, because before but he fought Stipe, he was in Paris, right? He actually... He, he he had a quick turnaround. A few a few weeks later, then went to Paris, trained there, then then fought um, Stipe Miocic. However, you know he's now moved to Extreme Couture, which is a lot a lot different now. And a lot of people are saying he's getting obsessed with grappling and wrestling. Good for Understand him. that. Good for him. Good for he's him. In the athletically gifted for sure. Yes, but he's found it a little bit late. Yes, right for yeah. him. He's found a little bit late. It would be really good. Like, if, Fran- if Francis Ngani improves his grappling ability a lot higher, brilliant, right? But to use that as an argument against the champion, yeah. who is also a really good wrestler, yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, yeah. right? It would work really well against maybe a top 10, top 5 fighter, but when it's the champion and someone as high caliber as Stipe, I don't see Ngannou taking Stipe down. Now, if he does, I see Stipe getting back up. However... Don't see the likelihood of it happening, right? And Garnu's probably takedown defense has probably got a lot better. I always, when I was watching his strength and conditioning on his YouTube channel, it's interesting. You know, he's holding the bag and he's doing a lot of um, moving up and down against the cage. Almost, he's almost do, just doing like squats up against the the cage. But he's getting comfortable with being in these positions where he's got to use the cage to employ that with his takedown defense to avoid the takedown. I think it's really good. I think he's really strong. Maybe Stipe won't get the takedown in the first round. Mm-hmm. 
Second, I, third, I think it'll happen. We'll try. I reckon Stipe's game plan going into the fight might be just use your distance, wear him out, a bit like last time, don't get respect his power, but at the same time, pop off that quick jab that he's got, go for those his body shots. His jab's shot. gotten better. His jab's gotten better. It's just pop off those body shots like he did against Cormier, and then if he has to, go for the takedown and then make sure you control him on the ground. And then wear him out because Francis was ab- both well, both of them were absolutely exhausted mm. after that last fight. Mm. I've seen footage of both of them just like completely like worn out, lying on the ground. I would say that Ngannou was more tired. He was so exhausted in like even the second and third round. In the second and third round, he got up and he was staggering. He was so tired. Whereas he's carrying the weight right, but Stipe is the one doing all the work to take down this two sixty five pound plus. Yeah, Francis Ngannou. Solid as a rock. Stipe is expending a lot of energy, right? Especially taking down someone at the heavyweight level like Francis every round. It's going to use a lot of energy and anyone's going to get uh, a little bit tired. But I take Stipe in this fight 100%. I, I think, you know, I think it's good that he's the underdog. Yeah. Right? Well, he loves to prove people wrong, you know. That's the best thing about a fighter and a champion that has a chip on his shoulder, right? That's the best thing. Don't trust the odds. That's all we say. Like, I mean, <laughs> especially when your name's Stipe Miocic. But it's not even that. But it's just the disrespect they give him. He's the greatest. We can argue he's the greatest. I wouldn't, of all even time. I wouldn't even argue. I, they always bring Fader and things like that. Fader's, you know, he's fought in organizations where they've had issues with fixing fights. And I know, right, that's not Fader's fault. But, you know, Fader's also didn't, even when he was at Bellator, didn't have to do any drug testing and things like that, right? That's. That's huge, right? That's mm. that's massive. Now, Stipe never failed a, br- uh, a a drug test, and the amount of people he's crossed off his name. Now, uh, ugly, he's lost to Stephen Struve. Stephen Struve's not the best heavyweight. However, mm. after he lost to Stephen Struve, boom, boom, steamroll. He just ran a train. Steamroll, and he, and and these heavyweight champions seem to get better and better and have better careers when they're older with more experience yeah. and. Usually the heavyweights they can they can hang around a lot longer than maybe a lightweight, a bantamweight, or a flyweight because power is, lo- is the last thing to leave and speed is not the most important thing. Now and obviously Stipe can wrestle yes. really really well. Stipe's grappling ability is is such a high level and I think it will be just another tool in Stipe's uh, toolbox that is is just going to be better than Ngannou's. I think Ngannou's he's just got to be smart. And Garnu's got can turn anyone's lights out at any time, and I yeah. think if Stipe stays respectful like he was in the first round, uh, so the first fight, then he will beat Ngannou handily once again. Yeah, because if Francis just he rocked Stipe a couple of times in the first fight, so if Francis works on better how to get slip 